Alright. Here we go. Happy New Year if you celebrated 2022. For you. You'll be happy to know that a lot of the heart wrenching or heart shifts, um, for the most part, the most heart wrenching shifts that you'll have to go through or you've had to go through is over for now. And now there seems to be an extreme focus on how you view how you live, how, how what that structure looks like, especially if it's growing maybe your own perspective of yourself and that seems to be what you've healed from too is this expectation possibly that just even if it seems perfect or seems a certain way it's not real and I think that more than ever the reality is that what matters is the mutual exchange. Like, what's the exchange between you and the people to your relationships, to your relationship with yourself, with work, with the people around you? Your status, maybe some of you are looking more about your status. Maybe there seems to be like an, a surge of energy too, and you're really focusing it. And it seems as though that because you committed to feeling the pain, understanding that it was what it was when it was at any point last year, and knowing that that may too come up again. It, you've learned differently about the situations. If you're being stubborn right now, it's probably for a reason. You know, I wouldn't say that to everyone this month, but it's probably for a valid reason, especially if it has to do with protecting yourself or protecting your home or what you've created thus far. If you're, if you work with people I guess be very extra selective right now, especially while Venus is in retrograde. The knights are all facing left. There also may be people who may be quick, have great ideas, fast, fast pace, but because they're all facing left, left, and the thing that came to my mind was, well, they might all, they might appear, you know, great at first, but they might be the exact person that brings everything left when it was going as planned. So by the end of the month, you'll get to this three of wands, or towards the end of the month, probably as. Mercury's in retrograde around that time. It goes in on the 14th, and I guess what the, not I guess, the, what the cards are saying is that situations may appear to be a certain way, but it's important not to make any major decisions, especially based off of you visualizing this four of wands, and then you're, but you're at the three of wands. You're still at the creating portion, but you see the steps, you see the build, you see how it works, you see how it goes, and now that you're, you've cut some of the shit, really, it's getting easier. You also might be just like approached by a lot of people, whether you're in a partnership or not. You might be approached for opportunities as well. And you just want room to go. And this is a perfect month to do it. This seems like a more of a month where people want your attention, but you don't have it for them. 
you are in that beautiful place or that perfect place, sassy place that you're in where you are just going, going, going with what is going well and anything else doesn't really matter. Um, and I would say that it does. So be mindful of your close relationships. They might need your attention, but you can obviously always put up a boundary on how much attention you can actually give and be real with them. Um, they might not love it. They may not be used to it. They might still, you know, but you need it right now. You really need it. So anyone who's like pulling too much, you just have to be like, I, you know, right now, just, just not right now because you want to move on things. You want to go, you want the room to go. Um, just be patient too, just because you have all this energy sometimes especially fire signs with the heat and everything building up and the height of Capricorn season and where it can go, that only gets there with the Four of Wands, the stable setting. Remember, like, even if you want to go quicker than maybe you think you should be going, but you're not, just take a step back. That's it like a, a lion hunting. A lion shall not hunt out of desperation or wanting to get somewhere quicker, <laughs> right? You can play with your food if you feel like it too, but that's also not wise in this situation either, or any situation that comes up, especially during Mercury retrograde, which is, starts on the 14th. You probably, most likely, also depending on what you do for work, will have a great idea that comes about by the end of the month, um, and you'll want to share it. So the people that you make time for this month, those are probably the people you will want to share it with, and you, who you have the time for. You see the steps forward, you might... You might even see like such a change in even anyone on the other end of your line, whether it's on the phone or in person, anyone on the other end of where you are and where you're communicating right now, it's very clear what and who Are really with you right now who really understand where you're at who really get where you're going but also notice the people who slow you down and bring you into the present moment those are people and key people that you may need to those are people not only that you need but that's where you also always want to be and that's somewhere where you know how to be innately when you're not you know needing that space you don't really need space this month it's more of just like you just it's just spacing out your time and how you give it and where you're giving it yeah and by the end of the month it'll be very clear so anything that's not just Again, take a step back, don't pounce, don't act wild, don't no need to, there's so much other things going well, so just reshift your focus, because it will want to bring you in different directions, this cardinal earth is no joke this month, um, it's just like cutting to the chase, you know, no extra sugar sugar, you know, you know, okay. All right, Leah, we will see you next month. Oh, second part is on Patreon, which will be under on a, in a link below, which is where I read through the cards. From here on out, that's where they will be. Um, so thank you, and I will see you next month.